Hello everybody, it's Rich220. And not only am I into restoring the real cars and bicycles, but I'm into a lot of other things too. As you can see, these are Hot Wheels sets. And we have another one right over here. And then we have some Hot Wheels that go from over here all the way across. And then we have some more of them up there. So, yeah, that's kind of something that I'm else I'm into. And then, I don't know how many of you guys remember these things, but do you remember these when they were made? It's Marks, and it was a ShopRite truck. Okay, and that's the front. Hold on, i got to do something here. And uh, this is the back. If I can get it up here. These were only made for a limited time. Um, as you can see, this is an old one, and it's pretty big. And the doors in the back actually open up. Okay, so that's what it looks like. The whole truck put together is about maybe, oh, I don't know, two and a half, three foot long. Okay. Um, but as I found out when I opened these, I also found out that there is... A lot of other things that I had in here. Um, the time period is in the early 70s. And these are pretty much in immaculate condition for their for the time. This is one of them. And as you can see, there's carpeting stuck to that. Well, that carpeting is from when I was a child. That was the color of the carpet we had in our room. Uh, my parents set up the house as a bicentennial, my room is a bicentennial room, but I have a lot of those, uh, those toys, like this right here, and these were made in, what was it, uh, 69 and 70, this is 1970, uh, you can see that's got the carpet on it yet, so that was, that was one of the ones I had as a kid, and then we have many others, we have this, these are pretty much mint condition. No paint peeling, nothing. And they were, once again, called Tootsie Toys. I don't know where to put it, though. Let's see. And then we have... Well, those are pretty beat up. But we have this one. There's no carpet on that. Oh, there's a little bit. Right up there in the front. Um, there's another one. This one doesn't have any carpet on it. But a lot of people have thrown these out throughout the years, and these are not replacements, folks. These are the original ones that I personally had as a child. So, yeah, there's that. And then you have this one, which was actually played with a little bit. It's not, not in too much mint condition, but it's still completely there. Yeah. Yep. And then we had, uh, well, let's see, what did I do with it? Oh, yeah, we had these two. Now, some of these came with glass, and some of them did not. But you can see right here. Okay, that's some of the toys that we had. And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, we also had these. This is actually pretty rare. You're not going to see this anymore because this was made by uh, the company that makes cereal, General Mills. And they made uh, Cheerios and they made um, all the Lucky Charms and everything else. So this is actually a very limited toy and it has the pull cord and it still works yet. So that's one of the toys we had as a child. And then now this is what we we had as kids. There was no um, fear of a child having a real gun in our time period, so we didn't have the little orange N painted on it. The cops weren't afraid. But nowadays, you can't have that. You know, and it's just a regular cap gun. A little stiff, but it still works. 
And then um, some of the guns actually had an opening where you could put uh, the whole spool of caps in. And then others had, uh, like this one here, they had, um, I think it was top loaded. Let me get it off. Okay. And then I have a smaller one too. So they look like no, no orange tip. But it still works. Um, 53 years later. Yay! So, and we also had this in our room. Don't ask me why, but if you're going to put a bicentennial thing in and set up somebody's room in that manner, why would you have that? That's a flute. It's broken, but it's a flute. It's from when I was a kid. And I have another one like that that's still in the wrapper. Um, I have, uh, what is it, a Tonka uh dump truck it's about the size of the shop right truck and then i have a couple other things floating around in here as far as ow as far as toys go uh we had those smash up derby cars i have one on the shelf but it doesn't have any wheels or anything it's a truck and um it was part of a set that we had when we were kids and you can see them right there on top there right above the pyramid that's the uh, that's one of the cars. My brother and my uh, Tonka Jeeps, and then the garbage truck and the farm truck are from when I was a kid. And those puzzles, the Rubik's cube, the star, um, the pyramid. I even have missing link. All that stuff. Um, they're from when I was a kid. Now all these Hot Wheels, you know, uh, most of them are commemorative red lines, and uh, you know. I collect them and I put them on the wall like this, or I'll put them all over my living room like that. Um, that's just something that I'm into, you know. Uh, not messy, not pack rat, but organized, OCD. And, um, you know, left enough room for myself to be around in here um, without having to walk through a pile of crap. <laughs> but, uh, anyway... I just figured I'd share that with some people and, you know, um, leave a comment down below if you're as nutty as I am as far as collecting these kind of things. There's a lot more, but I'm going to get to that in another uh, video. So for right now, that's the short for today. Hope you like it. Subscribe and like. Don't forget to like and leave a comment down below. It's like nobody is subscribing. I get more views than I have subscribers. That's kind of weird, man. That's really odd. And I'm just sharing this with you guys. I'm not sharing it for, you know, my own purposes. Um, but I want this to get out so people can, you know, see that, you know, not only do I do car restorations, but I'm into collections. All right. Talk to y'all soon. See you in the next one. Bye.